Skunkosaurus. Ah! Mother, I can handle this. Fred. What's that old fossil doing here? The tar pit's back up again? Well, somebody has to be here looking after my daughter and grandchild while you're out carousing with a bunch of Neanderthals. Oh, really? Well, for your information, the lodge no longer accepts Neanderthals. He robs your nest egg to bail out that little troll next door while my daughter has to wash her clothes in the river. I got half a mind. Oh, don't flatter yourself. That's it! Where's my club, Wilma? You just try it, fat son. Boy, if you was a man, I'd <laughs> knock you in the head. You two should be ashamed of yourself. I've got my hands full just being ashamed of him. You got your hands full when you scratch your neck. Now stop oh. it, both of you. Mother, Fred is a loving husband and a good provider. Oh, really? What has he ever provided you besides shade? Oh, Wilma. You could have married Elliot Firestone, the man who invented the wheel. Instead, you picked Fred Flintstone. The man who invented the excuse. Let me tell you something, Pearl. I'm not going to be a nobody all my life. One of these days, I'm going to be a somebody, a real somebody. Then we'll live in a lap of luxury, and Wilma will have everything she deserves. And when that day comes, you're going to be so busy eating crow, you'll be passing feathers for a month. Oh, you poor, poor dear. And when I think of all the sacrifices your father made for you, lambs, Oxen, your brother Jerry. Oh, oh, Wilma, do your mother a favor. Just call Elliot Firestone. Even if things don't work out, he can give you a great deal on some tires. Yes, mother. Bye, Ziva. I'll show her. I'll show everybody. I know you will, Fred. Call me fat, sir. Sleep. 